Hey everybody, welcome to my review for Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. The uh, film that Godzilla and Kong that once again saved theaters this year in the spring. Uh, this is the follow-up to Godzilla v Kong. Um, another Adam Wingard Godzilla venture. Uh, this is the 4K UHD version, which comes with simply a 4K disc. There's a digital code that's included as well. I like this movie. It's a fun time. It's a little romp. It's not meant to be taken completely seriously. It's big, dumb, fun. Uh, lots of fun spectacle, different terrain for Godzilla and Kong to run amok and destroy. Kong, uh, Godzilla, kind of a supporting role in this one. He sleeps a lot, he does his own thing, and then joins the action later. Um, this one adds more lore to the Kong side of things. It gives a little bit uh, more... Um, menace and different villains new characters uh not the the monsters that uh, kaiju stuff that goes with godzilla aren't really present here we did mecha godzilla last time here we are uh with this one with the scar king guy he's cool um very interesting uh this one does uh, it, it's kind of cool how big and blockbuster this movie feels while well, i feel like it's like it's kind of scaled back if you really think about it there's not a lot of human characters they go to a completely made up world that's only inhabited by like CG stuff um, and tech. And uh, it works. Um, I really like this cast. Um, Rebe Rebecca Hall is one of our criminally underused performers in big budget movies. She does a lot of really great independent films, especially horror films. Go check them out. Um, she continues on here. Dan Stevens is a blast here as this ridiculous dentist of kaiju. <laughs> and from the moment he swings in, you're like... All right, we're having a good time here um, with this movie. Uh, the one that, you know, I have this little nitpick, and I've talked to Aaron North a lot about it, but the the music in these movies, the, the needle drops are cool, but this one has the Twilight Zone, the song, uh, as they're getting ready to go to the Hollow Earth, and they get the ship that's going to go blasting off, and, like, everybody's getting ready, and the song's building up, building up, and you get in the ship, and they're about to hit, to boost and you're like oh they're gonna hit the chorus hard i'm gonna be in ecstasy in the theater and it silence and then when they do have the chorus it's like this wibbly wobbly thing and i'm like oh man i wanted to like bam hit me in the face with it but it didn't that's a little nitpick but this is a lot of fun uh this continues to be one of the best ip franchises uh the hollywood's doing right now and meanwhile overseas like <laughs> We got Godzilla minus one. It's like, yo, yo, watch. Watch us do it really good, too, while you're doing it at the same time. So, um, Godzilla X Kong, definitely a, a fun recommend. Uh, it arrives here. It, it's already available. Um, the video, uh, the movie, I give a three and a half out of five. Good fun. Better than your average uh, blockbuster to me. Um, the uh, video for it, it is um, presented in its... Uh, 2351 aspect ratio uh, with a uh, HEVC uh, H.265 co coating. Um, this is basically, this is what you're wanting um, your video to look like here. Uh, it, it, uh, it's colorful. It's, um, I mean, well-defined. The CG holds up. There's no kind of phoniness to it that you might, you know, see the strings or something with them. It, everything's fluid and moves and just uh, looks looks quite good. There's a great depth. Um, they really make this world feel, the scale of it feels adequate for what's going on. Um, definitely some finer tuned things. I gave the video a five out of five. It's a modern movie shot digitally in 4K coming to the 4K format. It's like, this is what you asked for. So I gave it a five out of five. When we go to the audio here, uh, it comes with a Dolby Atmos track. It has a descriptive audio track in English as well, um, and a 5.1 Dolby Digital, as well as French and Spanish, also in Dolby Digital, with English SCH, French, and Spanish subtitles. Uh, when it comes to the, the audio, it's an Atmos track, and this is awesome. It's 5.1, everything's around, um, the atmospherics, and ambiance here really make you feel in jungly foresty things even in caverns there's little creeks and cracks and and little nicks and you can hear people 
uh, moving, shuffling, or if there's a battle, there's stuff all all around to different degrees of volume impact that really serve watching the movie quite well. Um, this one, I also gave a five out of five. It, it hits, it's, it's really uh, in, enhances and makes the viewing such a pleasure to watch. Uh, we're gonna go to the bonus features now. And uh, the, they're found um, on this disc. Uh, let's see here. Scroll into my thing. Sorry, my notes are right here that I'm, I'm doing. So, when it comes to the bonus features, ah, there we go. They're, they're kind of, okay, so the bonus features here are kind of fluffy. So we got the commentary um, and it's got Adam Wingard as long with some production people to go with him. Um, and uh, they go through the production of the movie, but there's a behind the, a series of behind the scenes featurettes, which when you add them up, it's close to about an hour of bonus features, maybe for, between the 45 to an hour window. They're all very light and you can't watch them together. Um, they're all very fluffy. They don't really go through much, um, but it's something to have. They could have done nothing, um, but all together you get about an hour of them talking about the movie. So I give the bonus a three out of five. Of course, there's a, you can count the digital copy as well. So overall, let's wrap it up here. Uh, the movie, I gave a three and a half out of five. Video, five. Perfect score. Audio, also a five. Bonus, three. And for an overall score, of four out of five. For Godzilla, X-Kong, The New Empire. So yeah, pick it up. And I'd say probably at this point, like wait for a nice sale to grab it, add it to your collection. But it's a, it's a solid pickup uh, because the movie itself is fun and the presentation of it is great. And you get a little bit extra to go with it. So... Thanks for watching my review. Talk to you soon.